Hi, I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at how to con configure reception phones for a 3CX phone system. Now, 3CX, of course, comes with profiles for a bunch of your phones, but every time we've tried to install them for res busy reception at things like doctor's offices, uh, things go off the rails. So there's a bunch of changes. The, the phones and the provision profiles for phones on 3CX phone system just are not set up uh, right for 3CX. Now, uh, on this particular site, we had SNOM 370 phones, which is a pre, uh, preferred supported phone by 3CX, uh, but we had a bunch of problems. Now, uh, the types of problems that we had included uh, the reception said we're dropping calls. When I put calls on hold, they're being dropped. Also, if I'm on a, a call, there's really loud beeping in my ears and I can't hear the person. They've got annoying ringers is what they said to us. And then they also said not all calls are ringing on the phone. So we had to jump in here and uh, figure stuff out and I wanted to share that with you. So let's, uh, let's hop over and I'll show you the changes that we made. Okay, so there's two places that we need to make changes here in, uh, one's in 3CX and one's on the phone. And when we go onto the phone, this is a SNOM 370 phone. Uh, today we're just gonna modify the, uh, through the web interface, but really you should be using a custom template uh, and we'll have a part two. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and then when we get that video out, you'll, you'll be able to see it. So, uh, here we are in 3CX, this is version 15, we've clicked on extensions, and then we've clicked on uh, extension 101 forwarding rules. There's a couple things we need to change here. First one is, uh, we're going to go down, and this accept multiple calls is not normally checked, so we need to make sure that's checked. The second thing we need to do is under phone provisioning, we're going to go in the MAC address and we're removing the MAC address. And the reason for that is we don't want the phone going back to 3CX and uh, in downloading a new provision file to wipe out our manual changes. So we remove the MAC address. And then uh, next thing we do is go down to settings and parameters and allow, allow use. Okay, so this option here, allow use busy op for group. Now it's set to one. Uh, now normally it's set to zero, so this needs to be set to one. And this allows calls coming through a call group, which is what you use with uh, uh, medical practice, any small business reception uh, that uses call group. Never use call queues. Call queues will not work well for small business uh, reception. So use call groups and change this and that'll allow you to get multiple calls. So those are the three changes on 3CX. Now let's go over to the phone here. So this is a SNOM 370 phone. All SNOM uh, interfaces are, are fairly similar. So this applies also to any other SNOM phone. There's a couple things. First of all, ringtone. So uh, you can see here I'm under identity one and login and the ringtone is normally one. And that goes boo -boo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. It sounds a little bit like a siren and for a busy receptionist they find that really annoying so this ringer 7 it's a lot more calm it goes pop up pop up and it's way better so change that uh, we're also gonna have to go into preferences here and under preferences uh, we had a complaint that the caller ID is not working and the, the reason being is this is normally just number and so the name doesn't show up. And so the caller ID name shows up and then any of the inbound route and call group identifiers show up and then the number. Uh, and so we had to change this to name number. Uh, that's really, really important. Uh, and then also further down here, uh, we had to change these here, Alder Ringer 7, to make sure that all calls coming in had the nice calm boop 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 sound to it. So. Uh, you can see we changed those as well. Now, next uh, screen is, I believe, uh, function keys. Let's have a look here. Okay, so what they were saying is not all calls were coming through on the phones. And so they would be really busy on Monday mornings. They get one call. And what they would do is it, the phone rings. They uh, pick it up. They speak, speak, speak. Second call comes in on line two. And so they press the line two button and, and start speaking to that person and then uh, say, uh, thanks for calling, can you please hold? And then they'd press the line one button 
expecting line two to be on hold and come back to line one, which that was all good. Uh, and then they would, uh, I believe, hang up the call to end line one and line two would disappear as well. So that was no good and we're gonna look at that. But then if line three also rang or there was a third call, all of a sudden, <laughs> it wouldn't ring on the phone because non phones with 3CX are configured only for two lines. So we have to add three lines here. So what we do is you can see here uh, the first button is a line, uh, uh, the second button is line, which is common. That's the way all 3CX provision uh, uh, profiles work. But we also had them manually put in here a uh, line for three and line for four. And you can add as many as you want in here. Uh, so we had to make that change. Now, the next thing is under advanced here uh, what we had to do is go under behavior now there's a number of changes here that we need to do uh, transfer on hook we had to turn that off independent transfer on on hook we turn that off uh, cancel key on held calls so what was what was happening when these calls were disconnected we sent a, a support ticket into 3cx and they said well it looks like um, the calls are being transferred and so of course this, it's not 3CX, but it's a SNOM phone, and the way the provision profiles are sent out from 3CX, that's a problem. So, uh, we basically made these three changes here to make sure that uh, calls do not get transferred and joined together. The worst ever, right? You've got two patients on the phone, and the calls are joined together. Wow, bad thing. So, make sure you make these uh, changes really with any. Uh, SNOM phone with 3CX. I think you should make these changes because you don't want two calls joined together. That's a disaster. Uh, so again, transfer on hook, independent transfer on hook off, cancel key on hold uh, calls off. That's uh, the best. Now, uh, there is another one here, uh, I believe under audio. Okay, so here we go. Dial tone on during hold. Now this was crazy. Again, I don't know why this is on, but we had to turn it off. So what happens is you're talking to someone and he says, okay, well, I just gotta get some information. Let me put you on hold. So they press the hold key and then you want the SNOM phone over the speaker phone gives you a dial tone and you cannot turn this dial tone off. No matter what you do, you put someone on hold, you get a dial tone and there's no way to turn it off except by taking the person back off hold. So turn off this dial tone on hold. That definitely needs to be uh, turned off. Um, and now let's, let me have a look at my list. Again, more line buttons, we covered that. Ringer, yes. Display number, yes. And then these other ones, transfer on hook, uh, call waiting. Uh, now this one's a little bit odd as well. Uh, basically when there was a second call coming in that was on hold, that was waiting, it was beeping in the ear and they could not hear the original caller. Uh, so we set this to visual and we actually ended up saying it back because they said, well, now we can't hear. We can see the light blinking, but we can't hear another call coming in. So I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Please subscribe to our channel uh, on YouTube and you'll see some more videos about how to make changes like this. Uh, you can find out more information uh, on our online store about SNOM phones and other ones at www.iphonesonline.ca. I'm Dar Zook with Helia and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.